Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Mr. Belusov, CEO of Acronis and Acronis announced just a new version, Acronis True Image 2017 New Generation. One of the most important features is, as you mentioned, is ransomware. You can detect a ransomware and do, can do something against it. Can you explain a little bit what you have done? Right, so uh, we were uh, we are a backup uh, company, so we always made backup, and backup is the best protection against ransomware. Now, uh, when we realize that a lot of our users use our product uh, to protect against ransomware, we wanted to make it better. So the first thing we wanted to make sure is that the backup process and the backup files are protected against ransomware. And, and we have made a lot of effort to protect your local backup files, but frankly speaking, the best way to protect against ransomware is to back up to the cloud. Uh, because our cloud store is highly protected against any attacks, including ransomware. We, the API, the interface to the cloud store, the access is highly controlled. And so we think that if you store the original of your file in backup, you will be protected. Now, when we did it, we realized that um, uh, curing your ransomware with backup is unpleasant. If you think about it, it actually is not a prevention method, it's a cure. It's sort of if you get uh, sick with a flu, you can drink some special medicine and the flu will be easier and will go away faster. Instead of several weeks, it will be maybe a couple of days, but it's still very unpleasant. Uh, as a backup company, we want to make sure that users lose minimal amount of data and the users can recover uh, the most uh, 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 fast. And, and so it was natural for us to come up with a feature which we call Actronis Active Protection. This feature monitors your files every time it sees that uh, important file is accessed by a non-authorized program which is not whitelisted or is not certified. It will make an instant backup of this file. And when it sees certain heuristics of behavior of the process, which is modifying files, it will notify the user and will ask the user if this was indeed ransomware. And if it is, it will do an instant restore. And, and this way we can prevent vast majority of the ransomware attacks uh, at, at core. And so user will not experience any inconvenience, will never see unpleasant ransomware screen asking for a ransom, will be able to continue its work just clicking one button and recover my files. And so that's active protection. It is actually effectively the best protection against ransomware. It is not protection against any malware. And so we highly recommend that you use security software like Kaspersky, like McAfee on your machine or if you use a open source or uh, uh, free antivirus, especially you need such feature to make sure that you are 100% protected against ransomware, which is an ever-growing threat. How do you te detect that a PC is infected by a ransomware? Because, for example, a Signature-based system slows down your PC, but your system is completely different. You have a heuristic approach. Uh, the, the, Can you explain it a little bit? This is a very technical question, but basically uh, we have an uh, advanced set of heuristics which we have enhanced, which operate on your PC, also operates in our cloud. And we constantly uh, monitor what the file, uh, what the process does with the file. If the process is authorized, we leave it alone. If the process is not authorized and, and it's some new process, we see what it does. If the process modifies one or several files and convert the uh, valid document, which is, could be a PDF or could be a doc file uh, or could be an email message in, or could be an Excel table or PowerPoint into a binary file, which is impossible to read, we will then notify the user. Again, because we know it's a known process, we created an instant backup. And so even though several files were actually encrypted, we can immediately restore them once the user tells us that this heuristic actually works uh, right. Now, every time we catch uh, ransomware this way, or the user help us to catch ransomware, we record a new heuristic in our system. Okay. One, one of your features is also Facebook backup. You can backup on Facebook account. Why is it important to do that? Well, I mean, first of all, uh, people always perceive that cloud services are secure, but in reality, cloud services is just another service, and so it could be attacked. It could be attacked by um, uh, accident, so Facebook can have a software error. Uh, it is uh, often hijacked. There is a lot of people which hijack your accounts, and when they hijack your accounts, they start posting on your behalf or they start modifying your records. And so keeping your backup is very important locally because if you are hijacked, you can create a new alias and start again, or you can restore to Facebook uh, whatever information was lost by uh, a hijacker. Uh, also, we think that 
keeping the data locally, keeping all of the data in one place would allow you to browse and search your data across all of the medias. Because sometimes you don't remember where you posted something. You might have posted it on Facebook, you might have posted it on Twitter, you might have put it on some website, you might have created a document, you just remember that there was a story, there was a picture, and having all the data backed up and located in one place from all of your devices, from Facebook, from mobile devices, from PCs, from Macs, it is very helpful. Cloud backup is also a very important uh, feature of, of your product. What do you recommend? To use uh, Acronis Cloud or can customers also use other cloud locations? Well, we, we believe that customer data belongs to the customer. And so customer can choose where to put the data. He can put the data locally, he can put the data to Acronis, he can put the data to other cloud, he can put the data into multiple places. In fact, we recommend that the customer keeps the data both locally and in Acronis or other cloud in order to make sure that the data is safe. It is in the cloud in order to make sure very speedy recovery, you can keep it locally. Local data can be lost, can be compromised. It can be that you are not at home when you need the data, and so you don't have the access to this data, but uh, the cloud data is uh, safer, and keeping it multiple locations um, is useful. Now, it is very important to remember that data should be in your hands Acronis does not want to impose any tax on your data, does not want to keep the data to itself. The main thing of Acronis is to make sure that you control your data. So the Acronis cloud is recommended, but it's not a must. Well, it is recommended. Uh, again, as I mentioned, I recommend to do both local and cloud backup. Local backup, you can keep the latest copy for very fast recovery. Cloud backup is sort of forever. So other cloud uh, providers always say, well, on our cloud is safe, local backup is not anymore necessary, so you have a different philosophy. Well, uh, the word safe is a very loaded word, so you can have your data um, safe, but uh, it is very far, and if you have a lot of data, to access it, it may take a day or a week. And so even though it's safe, it's not immediately accessible. If you have your data locally, in most cases you can recover very, very fast. Now, uh, it's not as safe, and so you need to keep data in multiple places. And, and now, the reality is that any data, unless you have a copy, is not safe. So you have to have a copy of the data, and, and at least one copy. If you have two copies, you're safer. Even with two copies, you might not be safe enough. And so uh, you definitely cannot just rely on one single cloud provider for example, Dropbox or Box.net or Google to keep data only there and believe it's safe forever. Mr. Belovsov, thank you very much for this interview. Ladies and gentlemen, we had been here at the introduction day of Acronis True Image 2017, new generation. You find more interviews on our YouTube channel of speicherguide.de. Thank you very much. Thank you.